Today I will talk about community toolkit of MVVM and the source generators that are there that makes it possible for you to write less code. Hi and welcome to a new .NET MAUI video. Today I will talk about community toolkit and the MVVM package to be specific. I will show you how you can use that to write less code because the community toolkit.mvm has source generators for generating stuff in your view models. So that is what I will show you today. So let's go and open Visual Studio and we will write some code. Here called user view model. I set the properties data. Then we have uh, a property and we have a backing field from each of them. We have a getter and a setter. Uh, and we have one for each thing that we show and we have the command here. So this class is 78 lines long just for a small page. Before I have used Fodi property changed to remove some of the boilerplate code that you need to write when writing view models. Then you for example just can use outer properties. But with community toolkit.mvm you can instead use source generators that are generating code live. Fold property chains generated code in compile time. So in this video I will show you how you can use community toolkit.mvm to make this view model contains much less code. So the first thing we need to do is to install the NuGet package. So we do that. We search for community toolkit and you will find the community toolkit.mvm with Microsoft as author. So we select that one and add the package to our project. So and now we can go here to this view model instead and write the same thing from scratch. So what we need to do first is we need to make this partial class because all generated code will be in another partial class. And to make this class implement I properly changed as you can see that we had here, I notify property changed. We can only add a simple attribute that will be observable object. And you can see the namespace for it here. So let's select that one. And now we can go and create the properties. And the only thing we need to do to create properties is to create a field. And then the source generator will generate the property for us. So we create a field with the name first name and now we remove the comment here and you can see that we have an error but if we do like this and add an attribute observable property the error is gone because the source generator have created the property for us so we don't have to care about and now we can create the other properties as well last name uh, age is int and city. And now we can remove the comment there also. And we have them. And then we had the command. As you can see here. The me command. So the only thing we need to do now is to create a property. Is to create a method. So in this case return void, but we can also use a sync task and it will be an async uh, command if we do that. But in this case, we don't need it. And then we just call the method me like this. And now we also will create the property that we will use for is visible. So private bool show message add attribute and set show message to true like this and now it's important that you use the property and not the field because if you use the field it will not trigger property changed when you use it so if we go here to the SAML we can see now we have a bind to me command because the generator will add command after the method name so it will be me command in this case okay now we can go and try to run this app and see if this works so here we have that, we have all the values of these labels, and now we can try to tap the button. Yeah, 
it works. It updated the UI when we changed the values. So let's compare. The user view model was 78 lines. And this is only 43 lines. So that is much less code in this view model. It will save us time when we're doing view models and it'll be much funnier to code also when you don't have to write all the boilerplate code. So this was a short video about communitytoolkit.mvm. There are more stuff in the communitytoolkit.mvm package, but I can show you that in a later video. So I hope this video helped you saving time when writing apps. If you like it, press the like button and please subscribe to the channel and we see you in the next .NET MAUI video.